Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Peeling Barbecue. Today we're going to be peeling with the wood fired oven from Yoder Smokers. We're going to make a Stromboli utilizing that wood fired oven on the YS640S pellet smoker. Stay tuned. All right, we're going to go ahead and allow this pizza oven to start preheating. And we're going to crank it all the way up to 600 degrees. Start. You can hear the pellets going into the fire pot. 600 degrees. Lock it in. And now it's preheating. Let's go get the pizza dough ready. All right, the YS640 is coming up to temperature. We're letting that pizza stone and that wood-fired oven go ahead and heat up. It's going to get well over 600 degrees. The stone's probably going to be around 700 degrees. But we need that to heat up so we can get the crust that we want. So now let's build the crust. Now this crust is not like a gourmet type crust. This is a quick and easy crust. If you go to the grocery store, get these Fleischmann's packets. It's a pizza crust, fast and easy. The yeast is in here, and the directions are on the back. So it's really simple. So that's what we're going to do today. So we'll go ahead and get this open. So we want to do one cup of all-purpose flour right off the bat. And then we want to put in our yeast. Kind of spread it all over. Make sure it all gets out. Then we have three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Then we have one and a half teaspoons of sugar. Then we have three tablespoons of olive oil. And then we have some very warm water I'm using my uh, fireboard spark and it is at 109 degrees, 110 degrees. That's exactly what we want. You, heard, you might have heard it vibrate. That tells you that it has verified the temperature. If you haven't seen my video on that, I do a review on that. Check that out. So the warm water is going in. And now all I'm going to do is take a spoon with like a rounded handle and I'm going to start stirring that in. And I'm going to stir it in for about a minute until things come together and then we'll start the kneading process. All right, after a minute, we're going to add in one more cup of all-purpose flour. You can do it a little at a time, but I really don't think it matters, so I'm just going to add the rest of it. I did put some on my board, and now we're going to incorporate that flour into the little ball that we had until we make a full-size ball, and then we're going to turn it out onto the cutting board. All right, so now it's pretty shaggy, but I'm going to turn it out onto this board and start the kneading process. and just start working it together. And we're probably gonna need this for about four minutes. And I'm keeping an eye on the uh, Yoder while it's out there on the Fireboard app. Right now it's at 622 degrees. I have to admit, I've been kind of ruined by the pellet grills I've used in the past. There's no way I would get one of those pellet grills up to 622 degrees and feel comfortable with it. All right, here's our, our dough. I made it in kind of a rectangular shape. Tried to do the best that I could with it. Now with this, you know, like a pizza, you want kind of a thicker crust around the edges. 
But with this, you want to try to get the edges as thin as possible because you're going to fold them over on top of each other and you don't want too much braiding on the top. So try to make the edges as thin as possible and then go from there. All right. So first we're going to start with some sauce. I've just got a jarred marinara sauce. You can make your own if you like. You don't want to go extremely heavy with it, but you do want to be able to taste it in there. Let's see how that goes. Actually, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we're going to do some cheese. This is some slices of provolone. We're going to overlap those. And then we're going to go in with our meat. We've got some sliced salami. One for the chef. And then we've got some pepperonis we're going to go on there with. Now we've got some peppers and onions. We can go on with that. And you can use any kind of toppings that you like on this. That looks good. And then we've got some Italian seasoning. We're gonna go over the top of that with. Use any kind of seasoning you like. And then we have some low moisture mozzarella cheese that we're going to go on the top of that with. This is probably about three quarters of a cup to a cup. Might as well go all of it in there. Spread it around a little bit. And now we've got to fold this thing up. Now we did a couple yesterday and I folded the ends up, but that made the ends really thick and a lot uh, really bready. So I want to try to do it a little bit different today. So I'm going to try to pull out the edges a little bit. I made this one a little bit fuller too, so this is going to be a challenge to try to cover up all of it. And then grab the edges on this end, give it a little stretch. Maybe it'll cooperate with us. And there it is. I was able to get the ends folded up nicely. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but sometimes the ugliest things end up being the best as far as food's concerned anyway. I'm just giving a little spray with a little olive oil spray. Just to help it brown up. And now it's time to go get it into the wood-fired oven. Right, guys the pizza stone is 675 degrees 700 degrees back there in the back and the top of the wood fired oven is 720 degrees so it's time to get a pizza on all right now i put semolina flour on the uh pizza peel and that's like little bitty ball bearings for this dough to slide on so it should slide right off right onto the pizza stone Let's go ahead and get it on Get her closed up. We're gonna wait up for probably about two minutes and then we're gonna give it a check and see how it looks. All right, it's been two minutes. Wow, look at that color already. Holy cow. Let's give it a spin. Maybe another 30 seconds maybe and that's gonna be it. Let's check the bottom. Oh yeah, the bottom is beautiful. It may not even take 30 seconds. 
just going to leave it open and let it go just like that. Wood fired stromboli on a pellet smoker. Can your pellet smoker do that at over 600 degrees? guys this thing is done we're gonna take it off let it rest for a few minutes and then we're gonna see how we did all right guys here's your stromboli cooked in a wood-fired oven on the YS 640s pellet grill utilizing their wood-fired oven this cook literally took three minutes on that pellet smoker which is absolutely crazy that stone got up to over 700 degrees the top of or six six hundred and yeah, almost 700 degrees. The top of it was well over 700 degrees. And um, that's absolutely amazing on a pellet smoker. Now we get to see how we did. Now I will tell you, I'm a little disappointed in how it turned out visually, but I think this one's gonna be a little bit better because we put a little more cheese in this one. But let's see how it slices. Hopefully it slices pretty good. Listen to that crunch. Nice crust on it. And look at that. Beautiful. Very nice. Let's dive in and see how we did. I'm gonna get the prettiest piece on there. By the way, look at the bottom. Look at the crust on the bottom. Perfectly done. All right. The mozzarella. My wife said put mozzarella in it. Last night we only put provolone. Mozzarella was a great call. I will tell you this. This one doesn't look as good, but this one is way better than the ones we did last night because I let it preheat a lot longer than I did last night. And the crust is so much better. This is something just like we would get at our favorite pizza place 20 miles down the road. <laughs> this is really good. Give this a try, give us a thumbs up, share this video. Subscribe to our channel. If you have a YS640S pellet grill, go get you one of these wood-fired ovens. You can't beat it. Till next time, we'll be peddling. See you guys.